This video will present solutions to the VCE 2020 Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section B, Question 2. This question concerns a river modelled as the region between two trigonometric functions. Part A. The distance from point P on the southern bank to the point directly north on the northern bank is equal to the difference between the two functions, which based on their equations, is the difference between 30 and 40, i.e. a distance of 10 metres. Part B. The easterly distance from P to the northern bank can be found by calculating the x-coordinate of the point on the northern bank where y equals 30 and then subtracting 50 from it. The necessary x-coordinate can be found by solving f1 of x equals to 30, which I will do on my class pad. The only solutions I'm interested in are those between 0 and 100. Part C. The minimum distance between point P and the northern bank can be found by using the distance formula to generate an expression for d, the distance between point p and any point x, f1 of x. This expression for d can be minimised using the fmin command for some sensible range of x values, like x between 0 and 100. This minimum distance is 8.5 metres to one decimal place. Part D. This question asks us to calculate the area between two functions. Generally, we would find such an area by evaluating a definite integral like this one. In this case, the difference between these two functions is a constant, 10 metres. And so the definite integral is of 10 from 0 to 200. This is equivalent to the area of a rectangle which is 10 metres wide by 200 metres long, giving an area of 2,000 square metres. Part E. There are a few different constructions that will help us determine the area of the no swim zone. One way is to find the area between the line y equals 30 and the south bank and subtract the area between y equals 30 and the north bank. This can be done by subtracting two definite integrals. The bounds on these integrals come from values found previously, combined with the curve symmetry either side of x equals 100.
The difference of these two definite integrals is 837 square meters to the nearest square meter. Part F. The new rule for the northern bank corresponds to a vertical dilation of F1 of X and will look something like this. The 20 meter limitation can be expressed as K times F1 of X minus F2 of X is less than 20. Based on the dilated nature of K times F1 of X, the distance north of the river will be greatest when F1 of X is greatest, and this is at the endpoints X equals 0 and X equals 200. I'm going to substitute in the endpoint values F1 of X equals 60 and F2 of X equals 50 into the inequality. This can be rearranged to find the upper bound on K.